be completely destroyed, but I'm gonna probably throw it at least one more good time. Why not? They're gonna hit it. What did I tell you? Oh, what is a good one? What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Just got done fishing out at Lake Texoma. This time I was fun fishing, which is a little different for me. Most of the videos y'all seen of me recently have been me in tournaments, which has been kept consuming a lot of my time. It's been super fun, but I do like to get out there and just fish for fun like I used to in the old days. And this video is no different. It's on Lake Texoma. I caught quite a few fish, so stay tuned and get ready. Just getting this old kayak in the water out here at Lake Texoma. We'll do a little pre-memorial day fun here before all the weekend warriors get out. Little baby striper to start off the day. These right here will mess your world up. They're the sharpest fish in, in fresh water, these little baby stripers. Nothing we haven't seen before though. Well, I didn't come out here to chase striper necessarily, but uh, I didn't come out here to not chase striper. And it looks like they're blowing up pretty dead gum good right over here in front of me. So, probably should go over there and get on one or two of those. All the morning bites happening. Oh, here's some good sized striper too. That's a good one. That's a good way to start your morning off. Big old striper. Putting that Dobbins to work. Putting that Dobbins to work this morning. Big old striper. That's not a little striper. That's just too much fun. Cool. Golly, that thing's like 27 inches. That's how you do it on Lake Texoma. Look at this absolute insanity out here, guys. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, why the heck is he not just going right and throwing right up in the middle of that? Because you don't need to. As you can see, there's plenty of fish just picking around right on the outskirts.
They are chewing that, chewing that divine swim bait. Come here, dead guy. Y'all think you wanted that? That's the way to do it. There's a bunch more where he came from. I love this reverse drive so I can keep myself off that bank. A little better fish than I thought he was, I think. I think they're fired up. Wow, that was kind of a miracle to not even catch a fish right there. He's gonna have nine million hooks in him. Oh yeah. Thank you for being patient during that whole process, sir. Absolute insanity. More, he says. More, he says. I want more. This pin bait is absolutely completely destroyed, but I'm going to probably throw it at least one more good time. Why not? They're going to hit it. What did I tell you? Oh, what is a good one? Oh, damn. 
dead gummit. Not cool, I broke him off. There's a little bitty brown fish. Put you down so you don't tear your mouth all up. You already have. Okay, y'all are the angriest little fish. Decent little small here on the, the sleeper crawl. Oh, probably feels good to get that out of you, doesn't it, buddy? See, that was a fun time as always on Lake Texoma. If y'all are curious about what I was using there for the striper, I was using small swim baits. Um, I was throwing a sleeper crawl and I caught that little smallmouth bass there. It's a new bat, new lure from Mega Bass. Just couldn't really get the, the black bass to play this day, but had fun nonetheless. You can see I caught a bunch of fish and I'm definitely going to be getting back out to Texoma for some more fun. If y'all have any questions, as always, y'all can put them in the comments. If you did like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a comment. That's all you have to do to support me. It's totally free. It's super easy on you, and it helps me out a ton. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate you considering doing so. Again, something that's free to support me. It really helps me out. So, guys, really appreciate the support. Stay tuned for more.